Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna to take a look at 10 Pokemon that are just one move update away of becoming meta in the Great League today. So, I saw some people wanting this series back, so here we go. And I actually have quite a lot more Pokemon that I could put into a video like this as well. So if you want to see a second part, feel free to leave a like. Maybe if we hit 555 likes, I'm going to give you another video like this during the catch cap period. So definitely try to do your best on that one. But otherwise, also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it is free, feel free to do so, would really appreciate it, and let's move on to the first Pokemon. We're going to have some more spicier ones in the beginning, and we're going to have like the really meta ones later on as well, which are going to be like so, so good, so definitely stay tuned for this, but let's start off with Gorgeist. Gorgeist is going to be getting the mystical fire here for today's video, a move that is quite interesting, because you have a grass tab now that is going to be able to destroy also steel type Pokemon with a super effective coverage, which I think would be kind of cool. Um, we're going to have a little bit of the issue here that Seed Bomb got nerfed a little bit, which kind of annoys the Gorgeist a little bit more, but still would make this Pokemon unique compared to the Trevenant finally, which would be very nice for it. And as you can see, an average rating increase of 50 is kind of nice, plus getting three more wins is kind of cool, and especially for limited metas, I feel like this Pokemon would have so much more play. By the way, um, the stats on the right side for like where you see the average rating of 466 is always in the one shield scenario throughout the entire video while on the right side the stats against the meta is always in the zero to one shield scenario. That's just a standard for PvP Pog. I could have changed it, of course, but like this is kind of what I want to go for. So let's move on to the second Pokemon. This is a Pokemon that I also have not talked about yet either. Um, we're going to have here the Sceptile getting double kick. You might expect me to like think that this Pokemon has like no play at all with that. But I honestly feel like this would be kind of cool for it. Um, double Kick is not like an insanely overpowered move as well. It's a very good fast move to be fair. But Bullet Seed is just pretty garbage on Sceptile. And so I feel like Double Kick would give this Pokemon um, still the speed of getting the energy, which is important for Leaf Blade, but giving you some better coverage against Steel Type Pokemon as well. And as you're going to see, the average increases to over 507 average rating, which is kind of cool for this Pokemon. And you see already, actually, it can beat quite a lot of the common meta threats, but like this he can actually beat the Vigoroth, which is kind of cool because he just outspeed it as well with a Leaf Blade, as well as they're going to be able to beat the uh, Registeel, which is kind of cool. So this would be a very easy um, yeah, adaptation for this Pokemon. It's not going to make it completely broken either, but it is going to be able to get this Pokemon quite decently. I think it could also learn Shadow Claw, which would of course make this Pokemon way, way better as well. But I am kind of tired of giving everything Counter and Shadow Ball. There might be some Pokemon that still get those moves in this video, but who knows. But yeah, here we're going to have Double Kick, which is still going to make this Pokemon a little bit better because just Bullet Seed is pretty garbage. Fast move. Next one coming up. Sock. Sock is quite an interesting one because Sock currently only learns Poison Jab, Body Slam, and Brick Break. Why do I want to put this Pokemon in here today is mainly because of Brick Break. Because Brick Break got buffed this season, which is like something kind of new. Um, this Pokemon has a little bit more potential if you give it Counter. Counter, yes, again, as I said before, is going to be one of the fast, best fast moves in the game. Going to be a stab. And also, um, Sock can learn it as one of the Pokemon. I think the other Pokemon, like Throw, does not learn Counter, but Sock does learn Counter, which is kind of cool. And as you're going to see here, now this would make this Pokemon really really good and if you go into the two shade scenario it even gets I think above a 500 average rating as well but having the option to debuff the opponent with brick break while having a stab counter plus body slam is like a hard hitting move as you can see on the right side would make this Pokemon way way better and way way cooler and as we just had the rivals event basically everybody has this Pokemon anyway so it would be kind of cool to see this Pokemon as like a counter user. This would not make this Pokemon like top tier meta either, of course a better um, Pokemon just based on typing like the Annihilate thanks to the Ghost type, but it would make this Pokemon very cool for limited metas and still also has some play in the open meta. As you can see here we're gonna get a plus 11 wins which is quite wild and so definitely a cool upgrade I would say. Maybe give it some better coverage move as well and this Pokemon would be even more unique but like Body Slam Brick Break is kinda cool to have as well together with Counter but let's move on to the next one. This is one that I showcased already in a video before, but like that's like a year ago or something nearly. So let's take a look again in Torterra, one of the updates which I hope we're gonna see next season already because I don't think there's like, like I think it's a no-brainer, like it is definitely a no-brainer. To give this Pokemon Mudshot. Mudshot is going to make this a very unique um, Grass-type Pokemon again as well because Mudshot is going to allow you to get to a Frenzy Plant after just five of them, 
which seems kind of overpowered, but then again, you have a quite horrible typing, as you're going to have quite a lot of weaknesses with this typing. And so, um, it still would be balanced. As you can see here, the average rating was above 500 as well with that. You're going to get six more wins, which is kind of wild. And you can even decide to go for something like, uh, I think it learns Earthquake as well, which would kind of give you some different coverage, but I feel like much short B, Frenzy Plant as well as the Stone Edge kind of give you a similar wipe as uh, Quagsire has because like you have much shot Stone Edge and then you just have your hard hitting stab move in between as well. So I feel like this would be a very cool Pokemon to have for the Go Battle League. Also for the Ultra League would be a very cool Pokemon to play there as well. Moving on, the next Pokemon here is going to be the Ninetales and this might be a little bit of a controversial one because I feel like this can also like, be a little bit too overpowered but I feel like it's still kind of cool and I think it's actually still kind of bad. So I think it's still kind of fine. Fire type have kind of a tough time in the meta right now anyway, but Ninetales I feel like would be really cool. Why would it be so cool? Because with Incinerate, you're going to do more damage, you're going to generate more energy, and what you're also going to have here is you have coverage against Lantern, and with this, you would be able to, especially if you can farm down something, you would be able to actually break the, the core of Lantern plus the Skarmory, which would be kind of nice to have, I feel like, and so I would be really interested in seeing this one. Of course, it is very strong to have Incinerate plus one weather ball fire because you only need two incinerates to get to one weather ball fire but at the end of the day you have other moves that kind of do the same as well so like i think it's still kind of balanced i think think it's still kind of decent but as you can see here great average increase of like nearly 70 average which is kind of nice especially in the two shit scenario this pokemon is quite strong but again like you're still kind of squishy you're still going to have a fire type which is not as great in the current meta so i feel like this still would be very cool to see but like this would definitely be kind of everywhere than as well which i feel like is cool because fire type Pokemon are kind of screwed in a water type meta right now, but this at least can hit back against something like a Lantern. Moving on to the next one, we're going to have Decidueye, but not the normal Decidueye, we're going to have the Hisuian variant. Currently learning Magical Leaf, the Aerial Ace as well as Aura Sphere, we're going to give this Pokemon access to Leaf Blade, and Leaf Blade is one of the strongest charge moves in the game, and this would make this Pokemon quite interesting. Having Aura Sphere as like a hard hitting coverage move kind of is nice for this Pokemon as well, and you can see here as well, you're going to be able to win one extra matchup, which is in this case the Azumarill, but you're just going to have like way more consistent matchups as well because Leaf Blade is like such a strong move and so I feel like this Pokemon has some potential but it's even cooler because you could actually go also for Psycho Cut on this Pokemon which would allow you to get to those Leaf Blades after just four fast moves which you see as well for like something like a Gallade plus you have coverage with like Aura Sphere then as well which you're gonna get to faster so Magical Leaf might not even be the play for this Pokemon then so like it has a little bit more of a faster play as well so I'm curious if the Sigi is going to get a buff. Of course, it could also get the move um, Frenzy Plant, which is also an interesting choice, but here I didn't really want to go for like those legacy moves, so rather go for Leaf Blade, which seems to be a very cool move for the Decidueye. Definitely something I would like to see in the meta, as Grass types are also kind of not as viable right now. Moving on, this is honestly, I think, my favorite change of them all, because it is like something that is not as obvious. Like the other ones you're going to see later on as well, which are quite obvious, but giving Powder Snow to cast form which already is like something like a weather ball rock or energy balls, so like great coverage for like the weather uh, weather types would be so cool as Powder Snow is going to be just basically a better variant of Hex. Being a two-turn move is going to be better and it's also doing more damage plus it's going to give you a better coverage. And this would make this Pokemon also an answer for Gligar, a Pokemon that I kind of personally hate to play against. And so this is going to make this thing way more interesting. As you're going to see here as well, you're going to be able to beat Gligar now, you're going to be able to beat Mantine, you're going to be able to beat the Mandibus as well well as the Licky Tongue, which is quite interesting. And so I feel like this would make this Pokemon such a cool thing because it is basically not going for any kind of normal type moves. You still have Water Ball Normal, which you can go for as well, but it's basically a worse Body Slam. So like rather go for something like a Licky Tongue than instead. But this is going to give you great coverage against the current meta while not being overpowered either because like you are not going to hit with stab moves. And so this would be a cool generalist, would be a great save swap I feel like in the meta right now as well. So Cool Pokemon, I really would like to see Powder Snow and Cast Storm, it's like not too overpowered either, and so let's move on to the next Pokemon. Next one coming up is going to be Pure Ugly. This Pokemon is quite ugly, but it is going to have the normal type, but it cannot really utilize it. Like in the um, normal form, you can actually go for Return, so if you Purify, you're going to have some options with it, but it already learns Shadow Claw, which is great. You have Aerial Ace, you have Thunder as great coverage move, and so if you give this Pokemon Body Slam instead of Aerial Ace, you all of a sudden have like a very squishy, very spammy normal type Pokemon that is kind of an alternative to maybe something like a Lickitung, while you don't have the bulk, which is 
is kind of good for this Pokemon, actually, because otherwise I would not suggest Body Slam. While it doesn't see, seem like that great on the right side, if you get, like, a little bit of fast move advantage with this Pokemon, this thing just completely destroys everything, which is kind of wild, so... I would really like to see Body Slam on Pyogly because I feel like it is not going to be too broken either. And so this is going to be a very interesting Pokemon for sure. And I feel like, like honestly, like I would like to see Pyogly having a little bit more play. Again, like it's a little bit of a squishier Pokemon. And having a Shadow Squishy Pokemon with great moves and spammy moves, I feel like is kind of good for the mana as well. You don't really want to see like those bulky tanks the entire time. And so, especially in the two-shit scenario, you would be able to beat something like a Cressaia quite easily. And you have like coverage against a lot of Pokemon in the mana. So I feel like this Pokemon has a lot of potential and body slam does seem like a very smart choice on this pokemon no matter what and so hopefully it's going to happen as well and we can move on to the next pokemon this is going to be the second to last one you most likely saw it on the thumbnail as well because it's like one of the ones which i feel like is like the coolest to have because manetric is like pure ugly a very very squishy boy and I like Squishy Boys. It's kind of similar then as well with adding a Volt Switch to it compared to the Magnet Zone. But you have in this case better coverage move but a worse typing. Because you're going to have Psychic Fangs which is going to be way better for you because you can debuff opponents. But your typing is way worse. As you can see here from a 351 average rating you go up to nearly 200 average rating more with a Volt Switch. And this looks kind of overpowered, but let me tell you, it is not as overpowered. There are Pokemon that easily hardwall this thing, because you have something like a Galarian Stunfisk, which might become a little bit more common with this Pokemon. But then again, it would also learn Overheat, which would be kind of an interesting choice as well. But I don't think Overheat would be like kind of the most common one. Maybe it's a Wild Touch, though, I could see that. But um, otherwise, you're going to have coverage against the Annihilate, which I feel like is cool. You're going to have coverage, of course, against Skarmory, which is kind of nice. But like this Pokemon itself just hits so insanely hard, but you have basically no bulk. So any counter user is going to be able to beat you in the two shit scenario. But also, any of the sets that you see here right now is baiting with the Psychic Fangs and then hitting a uh, Wild Charge with a Shadow Bonus on it. And it's not going to happen all the time in the main games as well so like it's going to be a guessing game if they're going to go for uh, psychic fangs or for the wild charge and so i feel like this is going to be actually quite balanced and i rather have something that is so insanely squishy um, than like anything that's insanely bulky to be like added up like this but uh, this pokemon definitely something i would like to see plus 200 average rating would be kind of wild and so i hope that this is going to be something that's coming in as well and again make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoy this type of videos and i I'll take a look now at the final one which is going to be maybe also on the thumbnail who knows it's going to be ludicolo adding weather ball water onto this pokemon why because it has swift swim as an ability which is for niantic usually like a sign that they can put on weather ball water they can want to have always weather ball on only Pokemon that have um, weather effects with their usual abilities in main series games. So either having like something like Drizzle or Drought in the main series games, which is summoning like weather effects, or something that can use those, or like the Ludicolo with Swift Swim. So basically, Weather Ball Water would give you a very, very cheap um, charge move that is still hitting quite decently, it would be stab, and would be perfect for this thing. Because with Bubble re recently getting buffed, this Pokemon is now going to be able to get a plus nearly 100 average rating. And the cool thing about Ludicolo is, it is one of the single Pokemon that can kind of beat the um, core of the Lantern plus anything like uh, Mud Boy plus anything like the Skarmory as well because Skarmory, yes, you're going to have like super effective coverage against but you still do neutral damage with something like a Bubble as well as a Weather Ball and um, they still take some time to get to the move. So I would imagine that against the Skarmory you might be even able to win this in the two shield scenario just because the fast move is resisted from the opponent while you're doing quite a lot of damage. And so I feel like this Pokemon would be such a cool Pokemon for the meta. Also, would most likely be able to beat Gliga in certain scenarios here. It lo looks like a loss still, but I think it still has some potential there because it do super effective damage against them as well. And I wish that Ludicolo would be better because it's currently the only grass and water type Pokemon that is available that is like kind of having potential for the future maybe. And so hopefully Ludicolo is going to be better with that one. But yeah, this is going to be it for this video. Again, if you want to see another one, leave a like and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.